MapInfo Pro 64-bit now has a fully customizable, ribbon-based user interface. The new user interface helps users to find and access all MapInfo Pro capabilities with greater ease. First, let's open a workspace so we have a map window to work with. Ribbon tabs contain groups of logical or related features. Tabs can be minimized to expand the viewable map area by double-clicking on a ribbon header. Or, you can right-click on a ribbon header and select Minimize Ribbon. To use the features while the ribbon is minimized, click the name of the tab you want to use. The ribbon will appear. Once the canvas is clicked on, the ribbon will minimize again. Tabs are fully customized through a graphical user interface or through a programmable API. A ribbon gallery is a control that displays a collection of related features in the ribbon. For example, in this open gallery, you will find all the various types of files and data you can open in MapInfo Pro in one place. In the 64-bit version of MapInfo Pro, tabs are arranged in five core groups for easy navigation. On the Home tab, you will find general functions that allow you to do things like open and close a table or workspace. You can also utilize output features like print and create PDFs. There is a window gallery on this tab as well. This allows you to bring up new map, browser, layout, or other windows. On the Table tab, you will find features needed to work with data tables, such as Modify Table Structure, Pack Table, Delete Table, and Rename Table. On the Map tab, you will find the features you need to work with a map window, such as navigation, like the zooming and panning tools. You can find functions for labeling and analysis, like the Information tool. Also take note of the two small arrows in the Selection and Navigate sections. These provide access to the Select command and Change View command respectively. On the Spatial tab, you'll find everything you need to edit the map content. like drawing a line segment or polygon from the Create group, or buffering objects from the Edit group. If you use the MapCAD capabilities or geocoding, you will find those functions here. On the Layout tab, you will find features to arrange your map content on the layout with tools like Snap to Grid or Align Tools. There are also a few contextual tabs that are activated during certain functions. When a map layer is active, a Layer Tools group is accessible with a Style and Labels tab. On the Style tab, you will find features to change the appearance of your layers. You can change the display style, rotate symbols, or change the translucency of a particular layer. On the Labels tab, you will find features to move the placement of labels or change the label style, such as the font. 